Hey, what's up team? Shatterproof, the workshop is coming along so, so good today. But I wanted to share this video with you that I made for the website for people who order a bowstring. But it has a lot of great information about how to know what bowstring to order, the differences in them, the right length, what to do once you receive it, and things like that. So, let's get to the point. Thank you so much for your interest in the Shadowproof Archery bowstrings. I'm making this quick video to cover what type of bowstring to order. B55, D97, Fastlight, what's the difference? Number two, how long of a bowstring should you get? The most annoying thing is to order a bowstring and get the wrong size that you don't need. So we're gonna cover that. How to easily check out on the website. And then I'm gonna give a few pointers on once you receive your bowstring, how to get maximum use out of it. And as always, from Shadowproof Archery internally, something we always say about our customers is that we are for you. And what that means to us is that we always want to make the situation right. We always want to offer zero risk to you guys. So if something does happen, that you can send the bowstring back to us. We'll provide the label. You don't have to pay anything extra and we'll make that bowstring correct. Because as humans, we mess up sometimes and we don't want that to be a barrier to getting a great product. Every Shatterproof Archery bowstring is custom handmade Flemish twist style. We make all of them in-house. We offer three different types, B55, D97, and Fast Flight. First of all, the difference in the bowstring materials is how much they stretch. That's basically it. And when a bowstring stretches more in general, it tends to be quieter when you shoot, but less speed. The difference between B55, D97, and Fast Flight is about five feet per second each. So you could have a 150 feet per second bow with B55, but you're gonna go 155 D97 and 160 with Fast Flight. That's a general rule. If you have a wooden homemade bow or something without tip overlays on it, you're definitely gonna wanna go with a B55. But if you have a fiberglass bow, then you can definitely go with D97 or Fast Flight. Our most popular bowstring that we sell the most of is the D97, because it's kinda the middle, the best of both worlds. But if you have a high performance bow, if you're shooting tournaments and things like that, Fast Flight's probably gonna be the one for you. You're gonna get that extra speed out of the arrow, the sound doesn't matter so much, and your arrow trajectory will be a little bit flatter. If you're a hunter, I generally recommend the D97 or the B55 because I like the quietness and I want the comfortability of shooting most of all. So you really can't go wrong with which string to order except if you have a bow without tip overlays on it or a completely wooden handmade bow or a vintage bow actually which would be 30 years or older. I recommend that you'd go with B55. It's gonna be more forgiving on the limbs and a less chance of them breaking. Once you choose the bowstring you want, to check out on the website is quite easy. You can customize the exact color you want. So you can choose color number one and color number two, 14 options of each color. From there, you'll wanna put in the length of bowstring you need. Okay, so how do you find out the length of bowstring you should have? If you have an existing bowstring that fits the bow that you like the length of, measure that and go with that, super easy. How do you measure the bowstring? I'll put one loop over a nail or a screw, then just measure the bowstring from there and go from the outside of the loop to the outside of the loop. And that'll give you the length you need to order for the bowstring. Secondly, you might have heard of AMO length, Archery Manufacturer Organization. Basically, what this is is the length of the entire bow outside knock to outside knock, measured on the belly side of the bow. If you know the AMO, then if it's a recurve bow, minus four inches from that. So a 60 inch AMO would be 56. And if it's a long bow, minus three inches for that. So if it's a 60 inch, then it's going to be a 57. So three inches less for a long bow than AMO and four inches less for a recurve bow. The number you want to put in the box is what we call actual length. This is the actual length of the bowstring you want. So if you don't know your AMO, you can just measure it. Measure on the belly of the bow, knock to knock, and then minus three inches or minus four inches. Something new we started offering on the website is an option for bowstring silencers. These are Alaskan beaver bowstring silencers. Now we'll just throw in a pair for you. We'll 
actually also install them for you if you would like, or you can choose no thanks. Just choose the option that fits you the best, but we were getting a lot of requests for us to install them, so we wanted to make that easy for you guys if you want them. Once you receive the bowstring, the bowstring will look something like this. And now you can pull it out of the package and you will have a top loop marker. We have this on here for two reasons. One, the top loop has a little bigger loop than the bottom loop. That way it can slide up and down on the limb in order to string the bow. Secondly, for optimal serving placement, we find that the exact center of the bow string is not the best, but if we drop that down one inch, it'll cover more of the area where it could hit your arm guard, so it'll protect the string even better. So if you get that string flipped upside down, the serving might be off a little bit, the bow string will work, but if you have it the correct way up, it'll work optimally, and that's why we have the top loop marker there. With the Flemish Twist bowstring, you weave in all these extra tag ends, and a little tagging can pop out, which means nothing to the failure of the bowstring. It's something to not worry about at all. You can trim them off, you can leave them out, you can wax them in, whatever is completely fine. The functionality of the bowstring has not changed. With our bowstrings, since they are twisted, you generally have an inch of play. And so if you put the string on your bow and it's not perfect, you might wanna twist the string up a little bit or untwist it a little bit. You don't wanna untwist it all the way, but you can play with that bowstring for about an inch in order to get your brace height correct. And finally, all of our bowstrings are pre-waxed and pre-stretched. Pre-waxed, we wax them in the making process. So in between every single strand, we have extra wax for longevity and we pre-stretch it so that when you put it on your bow, it's not a noodle and stretches out a couple extra inches. So we use a winch and stretch it to 100 pounds and leave it there for a period of time before we serve it and give you the bowstring. And as always, if there's any problems or the string is wrong size, just let us know and we'll make it right with you. You can email support at shatterproofarchery.com if you have any questions about the checkout process or to make sure you get the right bowstring or any question about anything. We're here to help you because we're for you. So thanks so much for being interested in the Shatterproof Archery handmade custom bowstrings. I know you'll love your bowstring. I know it's gonna work good for you and you won't regret it. So thanks so much for doing business with us. I make a lot of the bowstrings and I have one team member who specializes in it as well. So we are looking forward to making your bowstring.